Uh, some people can actually smell something at the California Academy of Sciences. Uh, we're talking about the botanical attraction called the Corpse Flower in Bloom. Mm -hmm. The plant started to open up yesterday afternoon, and the typical bloom lasts just 24 hours. That is it. And Sean Chitness has a look at why this plant is so special and some of the science behind why it's so stinky. <laughs> It was a sight that got many stares leading up to Tuesday afternoon. Plenty of people were able to come through the rainforest at the California Academy of Sciences and see the corpse flower before its bloom. This is incredibly exciting for me here as a biologist at the California Academy of Sciences because growing this plant is kind of a, a bit of an achievement. It doesn't happen very often. We are waiting for a very endangered and rare plant, the Amorphophallus titanum or corpse flower to bloom. You might say from start to stink, it's a seven to 10 year process. That accounts for the time it begins as a seed to when the flower actually opens up. For five years, members of the Cal Academy team like Tim Wong have watched over this plant patiently waiting for this day to come. As a corpse flower, um, one of their claims to fame is that they produce this really foul, rotten stench of meat, sweaty feet, garlic, and uh, to help really disseminate that smell that attracts their pollinators, which are carrion flies and beetles. That's part of the science behind the smell. Not only will it give off a horrible scent, standing more than six feet tall, it will also heat up, getting to be as hot as a human. The spadix, that tall part of the plant, heats up close to body temperature, nearly 100 degrees, and that will actually help to disseminate that smell over long distances, hopefully bringing and attracting pollinators from equally far. It's a smell of success only a biologist could look forward to, and while they called the plant Mirage because it caught them off guard when the plant revealed it would be ready to bloom, it will be no surprise how many more people show up to get a sniff themselves. I think everyone is incredibly excited to experience and smell our bloom. It's larger than life, it's absolutely huge. And when it does smell, it should smell horrific. And I think people really want to experience that and see what that is like. A typical bloom lasts 24 hours, and in some cases, this flower truly becomes a corpse, dying after that. But staff at the Academy hope it will come back again to fill their rainforest with its rancid stench once more in a few years. Oh, my goodness. We've been watching a live stream of people. Let's take <laughs> it right now from the California. And you can actually see that people are there taking pictures. There's Look. Tim Wong right there. Uh, if we could only do bad lip reading next to no, that. Oh, oh, he's oh, getting a picture. Pictures. It's fascinating, though. Like, it I is. can't look away, and there's really nothing to look at. Look at her coaching him on how to get the... Oh, no, yeah, no, she's... Get the shot, turn it she, around She him. doesn't trust that he's going to get there. See that? Mm -mm, she <laughs> she's, she's, no, she's hovering. No, she's fixing it. Oh, oh, no, she's taking she's, over. It's like she's bad lip reading. Over. It's like, you're but not photographing this right. Who knew that the flower, you know, would turn into a social... Let's go back. They're, like, sniffing it now. They're smelling it. No, they're not going back. You're just reenacting. Oh, look. Oh, smelling. Is he saying, feed me, Seymour? All I can think about is a of horrors. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs>